Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. In today's episode of Linux Essentials, it's all about the user mod command. The user mod command helps you, well, modify users, which is where the name comes from. And this isn't the first time that I've gone over user mod on this channel. In fact, it's one of those commands that I use all the time. So I'm sure if you've caught other videos on my channel, you've probably seen me use the user mod command here and there. But in today's video, the user mod command gets its own video and I'm going to show you guys some of the things that user mod can do. So let's get started. In a nutshell, the user mod command allows you to, well, modify users. So what I could do, for example, is run sudo, and then, of course, user mod. If I wanted to add my user to a group, for example, I could do that by typing dash a and then uppercase g. I want to add to a group, and then I type the name of the group that I want to add the user to. So I'll attempt to add my user to the admins group. And then finally, the name of the user that you want to add to that group. I'll type my sudo password here, but I'm not in the sudoers file. So I'm not actually able to use sudo. I'll go ahead and fix that right now. So what I'll do is log in as root. And then I'll run the same command. This time I don't need to use sudo because I'm logged in as root. So I'll essentially type the same command again. So again, user mod dash a and then uppercase g. The group name is sudo, the username is j. And as you can see, my user j is a member of the sudo group. So I'll log back into the server. And we'll continue. And you just saw a really good example of the user mod command. And this is the example command right here that I knew would fail, not just because I haven't created the admins group yet, but because my user wasn't even a member of the sudo group. So what you just saw was a useful example of user mod. In order to use sudo, you have to be a member of the sudo group, at least here on Ubuntu. Sometimes that group could be called something different, but the point is, you just saw me add my user to a group using the user mod command, so what you now know is that the user mod command is useful for adding users to a group. Now what I'm going to do right now is just, well, add the group that I was originally going to add my user to, which was admins. And now what I can do is actually add my user to the admins group. But before I press enter, what I want to show you guys is that you can actually add a user to more than one group in one command. And that's really all there is to it. You just type a series of group names separated by comma, and that's it. My user is already in the sudo group, so that part of it is pretty pointless, but I'm not in the admins group yet, so I'll press enter. As you can see, I'm now a member of the admins group. Now keep in mind that even though I added my user to that group, that actually doesn't take effect until I log out and log back in. When I ran the groups command, and I used my username as an argument, it just gave me the total list of groups that I'm a member of, not necessarily the groups that are currently in effect during this session. So, like I mentioned, I would need to log out and log in for the new group membership to take effect. Now, let's take a look at another example. So what if you wanted to, I don't know, change your home directory? Well, that's another thing that the user mod command allows us to do. So I'll run user mod along with sudo. And the dash D option is the option that's associated with moving your home directory. I'll create it under slash home, and I'm just going to call it my home, just a random name. I think it'll work. And then we type the name of the user that we want to target with this command. Now, before I continue, there's another option that we might want to consider adding here. And that's the dash dash move dash home option. And what that's going to do is move the contents of the user's current home directory to the new home directory. Let's press enter and try it out. And of course I knew that would fail because, well, I'm logged in as the user I'm trying to move the home directory for, and that's not actually something that you should do. So what I'm going to do right now is log out of this server, and I'll log back in as root. I'll type the exact same command again, except I won't include sudo. And 
and let's give it a shot. Well, that was easy. Let's go ahead and log out, and we'll see what happened. So, if I print my current working directory, you can see that I'm currently in slash home slash my home. And to further prove that the home directory move was successful, I can echo the contents of the home environment variable. And as you can see, my home directory has indeed changed. Now what's also interesting is that I didn't even create that directory. And I didn't have to because the user mod command took care of that for me. It must have seen that the directory didn't exist and it went ahead and created it. That's pretty useful. So what I'm going to do is log out yet again. I'll log in as root. And the reason for that is because I'm going to be changing my user even further. And what I'm going to do specifically is change the name of my user account. So for that, I'll type user mod and then dash L. Next, I'll type the new username that I want to be known as. So my last initial is L, so I guess I'll name my user JL. And then I type the current username, which of course is J, I'll press enter. And that's all there is to it. So if I cat the contents of Etsy password, we can see down here that my username is now JL. Further, if I wanted to lock out a user, I could do that with user mod as well. And the syntax is simple. I just type user mod dash capital L this time, and then the name of the user. So I'll log out. And I'll log in as my user account and confirm that I'm not able to do so. Now I'm pretty sure that I did indeed type the correct password, but I'll try that again to be safe. And again. So it's not letting me in the system. It's telling me that my password was wrong, but I promise you I typed in the correct password. And this is just because I locked myself out of the server, which I did on purpose anyway. So I'll log back in as root. And then to unlock the user, I just change the dash capital L to a dash capital U. Just like that. Another thing that we can do is we can set an expiration date for the user's password as well. So the dash E option will allow us to set a date of expiration. And I'm recording this on August 20th. I will just make it expire on August 21st. So technically this account should expire tomorrow. And I should probably type the correct username. That's pretty important. But anyway, to verify that I did in fact set the expiration properly, I can use the sage command. So C-H-A-G-E, just like that. And then dash L. And finally, the username that I want to inquire about. I'll use mine yet again. And right here, we can see that the expiration date is indeed August 21st. So tomorrow, I won't be able to log into the server. So anyway, what I'll do is exit out. And I'll log back in as my user. And now I can log in. I wasn't able to log in before because I locked out my user, but I also unlocked my user later. So now I'm able to get back into the server. So there you go. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you guys some of the things that UserMod can do. UserMod is one of those commands that has all kinds of different uses, so it's impossible to go over every single one of those in one video. But I think the things that I've taught you so far should at least get you started, or essentially teach you the essentials of this command, which is what this series aims to do. If you are liking this series so far, please click that like button if you like this video, and be sure to subscribe because more episodes in this series are coming. So, I'll see you next time.